All right, I'm going to get as far as I can today um, on the saddle. I'm going to make the saddle out of this uh, Super Sculpty, I guess that's what it's called. Uh, I don't know the name because I don't have the package anymore that I got the clay in. But anyway, I'm just uh, going to continue on and uh, see how far I can get today. Tomorrow... I will not be here. I'm going to be gone. Uh, I've got to go to the foundry in Bi uh, Livingston to pick up a bronze that I ordered back in July, approaching storm, and then deliver it to the client tomorrow. So it's uh, going to be a busy day for me. And uh, got to go to Bozeman, get a name tag, get over to the foundry, get the name tag put on the base. Pay the foundry, pick up the bronze, bring it back to Ennis, and deliver it to the client. It's going to be a fun day. <laughs> I don't think I'll be videoing the, the trip because I already did that. and You guys are going to get tired of seeing those trips. Oh, my thumb hurts today. The joint. Time to play with some clay. All right, I got on my phone a uh, reproduction saddle. It's it's not authentic for the period in some parts of it, but basically it is a spanish saddle and those were quite prevalent in the southwest and uh throughout the west on mount for mountain men and uh so i'm just gonna use it as a basis for the uh uh design of the thing but uh i'm gonna make it more uh period friendly for the, like say the 1840s or 30s all right, be right back. All right, I'm. What I did is I ran clay through my pasta machine, so I got a evenly flat piece of clay, and this is what I'm making the uh, saddle blanket out of. I got both sides the same. Good. This is why I've cut the centerpiece for the blanket between the two halves so that I get the same width at this side as I did on the other side. Let's see if that looks good. Yeah. Now it's just a matter of joining them up. I gotta have a basis for the uh, saddle to sit on. I got 
to put this uh, super sculpty under the light, uh, 100 watt bulb, and get it softened up. It's going to take a few minutes to do that. Okay, this is one side of the saddle tree. I had a studio next to a, a saddle maker, Rick Erickson, here locally. And uh, I learned a lot about saddle construction, watching him making saddles. And that's that was a great education for me. I wish I had it fresher in my mind. It's been about 30 years since I was there, but anyway. The saddle's got to fit comfortably on the shoulders and uh, away from the hips because uh, you don't want to have the horse getting sores from the movement of his shoulders. I found that out on a YouTube video. Anyway, I'm going to re re reproduce this same uh, tree on the other side. All right, be right back. I just put the uh, one I already made onto some flattened out clay and I just traced the uh, shape of it so I get both sizes actually the same. Okay, I've got to get the shape of the saddle, and I'll do that with a piece of clay like this. Then I trace that shape onto my flattened clay and cut that out. All right, I matched the uh, shape of the saddle or the thing, and I'm going to just put this back part of the uh, okay, now I get that worked out. Let's cut it out. I know this is really technical, but the saddle is technical. Of course, I can always adjust, adjust it once I put it on the set, on the uh, tree. Now I'm going to flatten it out just a little bit more and raise it up a little bit more. But uh, I've got to make the uh, front of the saddle now. That's got to take some shaping. Okay, I'm putting the horn on.
Okay, that's the start of the saddle. I will improve it with a lot more sculpting on it. And uh, now what do I do with my tool? There it is. I will pick this up Monday. As I said at the beginning of the video, I will not be here tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next week. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.